Hi everybody. I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been doing all kinds of different stuff, canning and salsas and things. But I decided, someone said, hey, show us how you do your cookies that come out so good. Now, if you don't have time to get by scratch and do all the items by scratch, there is a very simple way to do this. And I mean, they are absolutely fantastic cookies and so easy. We start with just a mix. And they make all different kinds of these in the mix. I am using on here an oatmeal. And I'm gonna do an oatmeal raisin. I'm gonna start by putting, just as it says on the package, one cube of soft butter. And I'm gonna get that thing whipped up a little bit. Oh, it's that beautiful. Okay, I've broken that butter up. Now I'm going to add my mix. Now the mix states on here to add one tablespoon of water. So I add my one tablespoon of water. One fresh chicken egg as opposed to an ostrich egg or an emu egg. And I'll lock this down. Okay, now, now we come when we change it up and really bring the flavor out. I'm going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. I make my homemade vanillas, but you can use a good vanilla extract, not imitation. And half a teaspoon of coconut extract. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm a crazy kind of guy. I now add, I'm gonna add one fourth of a cup of shredded sweetened coconut. Now the shredded uh, coconut on here will make the cookie remain moist and chewy so it doesn't get hard. All I had to do was put one quarter cup. I'm going to use one half cup of raisins. Now I could have put chocolate chips, you know, or M&Ms or whatever it is you want to go with it. Now when this comes out, this tastes nothing like the package mix. And I've, I've gotten where Someone needs cookies and they say, wow, I need cookies. Can you make it? We're going to preheat the oven to 350, which has already been done. I have my baking sheet with a parchment. Always use a parchment paper. It keeps the bottoms from getting over brown and it absorbs any excess oil. And I'm going to cook these for 11 minutes. There, now it's already done. And it just took us a couple of uh, minutes to get all the ingredients out. And I keep a couple of these packages. Uh, when I really want to go out, I'll use my homemade recipes on it. And you know what? It takes a lot longer. But this is for apps, something you want to have really, really quick. There, now I'm going to put these in a number two scoop. Uh, I use a number two, it's two tablespoons. I bring, so it's the scoop I, again. I'm going to bring down my mix. You see, it's really sticky. Oh my gosh, the smell is so good. And this would be a, t a number two scoop. See how easy that comes out? And these are all going to come out uniform. Now I'll uh, have Kathy, who's doing the filming, We'll kind of speed this up. We'll put this in there, cook it for 11 minutes, not 12 or 10, 11 minutes at 350. Bring them out and I'll show you how to get them off this off here. You want to get them off the pan so they don't keep, keep continuing to cook. I'm going to hold the pan and I'm going to hold the edge of my paper and just pull it off and it's going to come off really, really great. So I'll see you in a minute. Now, we have the cookies already on here to go in the oven. Press just slightly, two fingers, just slightly on top. Just to get them to spread out a little better. Of course, we washed our hands before we started anything. Don't think I wouldn't. Though I've been to many lands and places, I always remember to wash my hands and faces. Oh, 
Okay, it's been 11 minutes. And this, from there I got, I can make uh, about 18 cookies. And look at these, these are big, they are uniform. Use a hot pad. I take the hot pad and I hold the pan. I hold the edge of the paper. With that, no cleaning on the pan. Any excess oil has been picked up by the sheet. Look at those, aren't those pretty? And they'll cool much faster now on this granite. I'm gonna flip one over. I want you to see, come in close. Look at that, it, every one of them will be a uniform color. Uniform size, uniform color. Now they're, they're too uh, bendy when they come right out of the oven, of course. So we gotta wait a minute. They and smell I think good. I think you'll really love having something when you just have like a few minutes to make it. It took 11 minutes to cook. It took about two and a half minutes to put the ingredients. So in less than 15 minutes, you have fresh baked cookies for a neighbor that's sick or something and appreciate you very much. I hope you push like and put a subscribe. There's no charge to ever to subscribe, but you get a notice whenever I do new ones. And with summer coming, I'm gonna do a lot more. And if you've got an extra minute, go on to Kathy's Craft Corner. Crafting Corner. Crafting Corner, Kathy with a K. She has got some of these beautiful things she's done. She sets up all the table decorations. Come down to here. I'm proud of my wife, I'm showing but she'll show you how to do this out of items, like $1, $2 items from thrift shops. So please stay with us and thank you for watching.